So we're at the Dino Quest thing at the Monterey Fairgrounds because I like to geek out at dinosaurs. And lucky for Chrissy, the last time that I did this, I read every single fact card so she doesn't have to wait for me to do that. She just has to wait for me to like kind of ogle at them and think that they're cute and stuff. Like, look at this little blue one. Look at it. It's kind of freaky. It's like, yeah, yeah, with my claws. Look at me. Look at me. Uh, yeah. So I think that like I want to be this little one's friend right here. Well, it has a little head. Just like me. It's cute. And look at it. It's like maybe I want to eat some of this tree and stuff. And then we'll look at this little green one right here. Okay, this one's kind of creepy. Let me like see this one up close and personal. This one's kind of got like a little weird head. It's not your fault you're ugly. I'm sure your mommy thinks you're cute and likes you. Oh, this one's like a little bird thing. Like that'd be cool if we still had some of these today, like running around, unless they like bite, then that would really hurt. Or like this one's kind of cute. Oh, is that one, is, is that one supposed to be like in the lava now? Like it's dying? Oh, well get out. And then these are the big ones that Chrissy would probably run with if she was a dinosaur. Even if she was one of them little itty bitty, like tiny little egg stealing dinosaurs, she'd probably still run up and be like, bitches, let me be your friend because you have tiny arms and you are gonna need me. <laughs> Anthony, say cheese. But look at, look at in my phone, look at the video with the silhouette with the sun. Doesn't it look like in Jurassic Park when it's like at the end? <laughs> of course, Chrissy has to point out to me the little sad one that's dead that got killed. And and this this big bastard up here is like fighting this one for it, so they're not even eating it, so it's just bleeding out and they're wasting it. That's pretty sad. This one looks like a little vulture. It's kind of cute. It looks like a little vulture. Thing. Look at how big its like foot is. Like if I put my foot on its foot, that'd be crazy. Its name is Sue. Cause yeah, the women would be the craziest ones, huh? Yeah, and then this one over here is like, what up? And somehow they got like the Triceratops in the mix because it's like, yeah, I'm a baddest bitch too. Look at me. The Triceratops is my favorite when I was a kid. And he's like, yeah, and then he closes his eyes. Oh, her. Sorry, I forgot. Its name is Sue. Oh, it could be a boy named Sue. Duh. That's probably why it's so pissed off because it's, it's a boy named Sue. I've decided because on the fact card it says nothing about it being a woman, so therefore... <laughs> the little kids get all scared, that's pretty funny. I think we should just like stand here and just watch little kids get scared. Is this supposed to be a baby one, this one? I think so. I don't know what the thing is behind it, this kind of little cute one with the yellow. This little one? That one's cute. Here's these guys from another angle. So the big fish thing is dead, and I don't know what this little guy is over here, but it's pretty gnarly. And this one killed that one. But this guy is still pretty cool. Look at, look at him. He's pretty cool. Oh, look it! It's one of those little guys. No, the um, pterodactyl. What did I say? Triceratops. It's Petri. <laughs> this one sounds like it's uh, like it's dying, maybe. 
See, even its eyeballs kind of look like it's dying or like it's drunk or high or both or not too happy. Again, these ones are over in the lava. And that's one of those ones that has the hard head because this one would be a construction worker because it's got its little hard hat on. And this one with its little spiky head. This guy's cool. He's just chilling. There's all kinds in here. This one is getting some. It's eating it and it's like trying to claw its face. Oh, that little one is cute too. Okay, like little kids are getting scared and stuff, and I'm like, yeah, you're cute. And then that little guy. This little guy is cool. And he's just like hanging out and doing stuff. I have to touch one of them, because they say don't touch them, but I have to touch one. So there, I touched that one. Well, I know they say don't touch, but I have to touch one to be like, I touched you. So Chrissy decided that this one's ugly right here. It doesn't look like they tried as hard to make these ones, these two right here. Especially this one that looks like it's like, like praying, like I need to pray that I get better looks because I'm not that cute. This one. Like, it, Chrissy just wants me to get whacked in the head by the tail. This one is pretty colors, this like blue and greenish. Okay, now we're gonna skip over to this side. This one's pretty cool. And this one I think is the herbivore one and it has the little thing like that on its deal. I think this one is probably gonna eat it. And then there's this little itty bitty little cute guy over here. Right here. This one is cute. This little guy right here is cute. So I think it wants me to pet it too. And that's the dying one again. And then these guys, this guy over here. This one is like the little baby stegosaurus. And then this one is like gonna eat its mother and that one is the mama and they're, so they're cornering it because they're gonna eat it see this one this one is gonna eat this one and this one is gonna get it from behind and then the baby is just gonna run the F out of there like oh hell no you're stupid because you're killing my mama. Oh, look at this one's cute, and I want to just go and like put it out in the yard at my dad. Like, I should just be like, I don't want anything in the gift shop. I want to buy one of your dinosaurs, and it could just chill out in the yard at my dad's house. 
and just be cool because look at how cute it is guys it's cute with its little wings and stuff this guy's kind of creepy it's got like big teeth and stuff so that's this guy and this guy's like trying to rub his hands together like he's plotting evil and this guy from another angle this one's kind of cute maybe and then this all oh, this little baby's being hatched and it's like a little foot it's like little foot and then there, this is the big, the, this is the parent right here. And this little guy's gonna try to get the egg, but the parent is like, uh-uh. It's not gonna take it, it won't do it. It's not gonna have it, but it's eating because it's a hungry, hungry hippo. So this one right here is being a negligent parent because all it's doing is worrying about eating. And the baby over there, right there, is gonna get killed by these two maybe even little homeboy right there, but it's not paying attention because it's like, I'm about this tree right here and I don't care and I'll sacrifice my baby and that doesn't need to happen. And this little one is cute right here. Look at, it only has like its little teeth, like the little teeth right there out of the little side. And then this, this guy and it's creepy little hands. I don't know if it's gonna eat the other one or if no, I think it's the mom, because they both have the same spiky things on their backs, like that. And then all these guys, so I'll get down so we can see these guys right here. These ones are little, maybe I could take some of these home too, except this one, this one looks like it's like having a seizure with its tiny hands. I'm not sure what's happening. Maybe it thinks it's a unicorn, I don't know. And then those guys. And then this little guy over here wants some recognition too, because it's like, yeah. And then this red one, this red one I think is fighting the other one over there. So now we're just going back. And so we're gonna see this dying one again, but it's not bloody from that side, only from this side where they're like eating it and it's coming out and stuff. So we're having a discussion about like, if you put this guy right here by like the Tyrannosaurus, it just looks like a little guy. But if this was like real life, this one just coming at you would be pretty dang scary. And then I said this tiny one over here by itself, over by the feet, I'd probably be running from that because it'll probably be biting like a chihuahua. And we would just collectively run from anything that had teeth and we would just like go be friends with the herbivore ones because that would be a good idea. Like even that would be scary because if you don't run away, you end up like that mofo right there who's got like a chunk out and it's like eating its foot and stuff. And this one that I said I wanted to put in my bedroom because it's pretty colors would probably collectively kill me too and I would just be dead. But this one doesn't have teeth. Maybe it's supposed to grow teeth or maybe it's going to have teeth. But it doesn't right now so I'd probably be that one's friend. I'd be its friend maybe like these guys and stuff. And this one that's like eating the fish, but there's no water, so we haven't quite figured that one out yet. Maybe we'd be friends with these guys. We could probably run with these guys, huh? Like you could ride one and I could ride one maybe, and we'll just train them to like be killers. So we like this one because it wouldn't try to eat us because I think it eats plants. But it's a pretty tough mofo too so it could probably like kill for us. So we would join this one's gang. I think that would be a good idea. And I think I missed this tiny thing the first time around. I'm not sure what that one is right there. I don't know what that is. I actually think this one is the one that I touched last time that I came at the other place. I think I touched this one. See, look at its little mouth. It's like, yes, I want to be your friend. Hi, you're cool. Okay, I touched it. <laughs> this guy that's like getting some right here. It's still pretty cool to me. 
so I just took pictures on some of the dinosaurs like sitting on them like the ones little kids sit on because I'm just geeking out and then I bought this little cute little guy at the store I think it's a girl actually I don't know I decided it's a girl so I don't know what to name it because I like boys more but what could you do it's a girl it was just roaring that was cool I like this triceratops it's So I think this one right here with the hole in its chest was a smoker. So that's why it has the little like hole to breathe. I decided these guys are just like the coolest looking silhouette. Like look at with the clouds and stuff. And this is the smoker one with its little with the little trach down there. And then this is the one that's bleeding out that Chrissy made me sad about. So they're fighting over it. It's gonna eat it. This one is sad because it's trying to get out of the water because it doesn't want to die. And then these ones are fighting. And then this big furry one's little bottom. <laughs> Look at it's the little baby dinosaur. Look at it, it's alive. It's so cute. So I got to see the baby dinosaur and it nuzzled me and it tried to bite me and Chrissy tried to get a picture but then like some kids started coming in. But I think I got it on video a little bit. Maybe I didn't like notice this pterodactyl thing before. I don't know but it's kind of weird. And then all oh, this little tiny little triceratops back here is like what's up? It's like moving its little hand, like it's waving. It actually says this one is the most intelligent dinosaur to be discovered so far. So that's pretty cool because it's my favorite colored one. So I picked out a pretty smart dinosaur naturally, obviously. Then this was happening, so I need to go see this. But my... I'm running out of space on my phone, so I might have to turn it off before I go touch this or check it out.